Welcome to St. Elizabeth St. Bridget Parish on the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Our Mass is being offered for the parishioners. The Mass readings and prayers can be found on page 304 in the Missalette. Please silence all cell phones. Our opening hymn is number 790, Immaculate Mary, number 790. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Coming together as God's family on this precious and wonderful feast, solemn feast of the Assumption of our Blessed Mother into heaven, let us call to mind our sins and ask our Lord Jesus for his mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Have mercy on us. 
for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Let us pray. O God, who looking on the lowliness of the Blessed Virgin Mary, raised her to this grace, that your only begotten Son was born of her according to the flesh, and that she was crowned this day with surpassing glory, grant through her prayers that saved by the mystery of your redemption, we may merit to be exalted by you on high. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Chronicles. David assembled all Israel in Jerusalem to bring the ark of the Lord to the place that he had prepared it. David also called together the sons of Aaron and the Levitus. The Levites bore the ark of God on their shoulders with poles, as Moses had ordained according to the word of the Lord. David commanded the chiefs of the Levites to appoint their kinsmen as chanters, to play on musical instruments, harps, lyres, and cymbals, to make a loud sound of rejoicing. They brought in the ark of God and set it within the tent which David had pitched for them. Then they offered up burnt offerings and peace offerings to God. When David had finished offering up the burnt offerings and peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord. The word of the Lord. reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, when that which is mortal clothes itself with immortality, then the word that is written shall come about. Death is swallowed up in victory. 
Where, O death, is your victory? Where, O death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. From the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. While Jesus was speaking, a woman from the crowd called out and said, Blessed is the womb that carried you and the breasts at which you nursed. He replied, Rather, blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I promise that the Gospel, uh, that my homily will be a little more lengthy than the Gospel. How's that? But not too much. On this uh, wonderful solemn feast, the Blessed Virgin Mary, we celebrate, of course, the truth that Mary's glorious assumption signified her completion on this earth. Now notice in Holy Scripture that we hear nothing about Mary's uh, death. And rightly so, because what we have before us is a mystery as to how Mary left this earth. But we do know one thing. We know that when her earthly life was completed, she was assumed body and soul into heaven. There are only two in heaven with both bodies and souls. And of course, our blessed Lord and his dear mom, our blessed mother as well. But one day, all of us who are faithful, all of us will have our bodies and souls as it were, assumed into heaven. Where she has gone, where our Lord has gone, we hope to follow. Now the gospel, short passage, but it's an interesting passage because it can be a little bit confusing, even those few words. But the passage reminds us that Mary is blessed not only for bearing the flesh of Christ, but because she heard the word of God and obeyed it. To say it another way, Mary is blessed in receiving the faith of her son, Jesus Christ, as much as she is blessed in conceiving the flesh of Christ in her womb. And so we follow 
her example, or we try to. She was without sin. We are sinful. But our Lord provides all of the best of what we need. Baptism removes all of our sins. And later, for the sins that we commit after baptism, our Lord gives us the wonderful gift, the sacrament of confession. How blessed we are. And so we hopefully hear the word as Mary did. We hear the word of God and we do it. In hearing the word, we are so blessed. In performing works of charity and other works of love, we are blessed. How blessed we are to do the work of Christ. How blessed we are that our Lord would tap us on the shoulder and ask us to do the work of God. Mary was the first and most perfect disciple. When we follow her example, she always directs us. If not, sometimes she pushes us always toward her son. And so at the end of our earthly lives, she will be with us. Death has no power over us. She will be with us as we pray so often in the words of the beautiful Hail Mary. Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. So often I've been in the presence of people when they take their last breath. Many dozens, maybe hundreds. And it's not unusual to hear people say, those who are about to take their last breath, Suddenly a smile comes to their suffering face. I see Mary. I see our Blessed Mother. We shouldn't be surprised. She promised that she would pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. And then, when the second coming of Christ happens at the end of the world, our bodies, and by the way, all the bodies of the saints as well, because all the saints are in heaven, their souls, but not their bodies. And so when Christ comes the second time at the end of the world, our bodies will reunite with our souls for all eternity. And so we can say that where Mary has gone, we hope to follow when our glorified bodies will enjoy the fullness of God's promises. And then, with Mary, with all the saints, we will praise God upon his heavenly throne, echoing perhaps the words of Mary in St. Luke's Gospel. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he 
has looked with favor upon his lowly servants. God bless you. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Trusting in the Lord's mercy, let us bring before him our prayers and our petitions. For our Holy Mother Church and her work of missionary discipleship, may the Lord strengthen and uphold her in bringing the gospel to all people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For political leaders, may God give them strength in building a more just and peaceful world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who struggle to conceive or have suffered miscarriages, may God bring them comfort and the insurance of his love for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us here as we seek to do God's will, may the Holy Spirit give us courage and fortitude in our efforts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may the Lord show them mercy and gather them to his side, including the parishioners. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who suffer, all those who bear heavy crosses. In a special way, we pray for the healing of our pastor, Monsignor Paleo, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our loving Father, we ask you to hear our prayers and grant all of our needs through Christ our Lord. Our offertory hymn is number 783, Sing of Mary, Pure and Lowly, number 783.
brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, which we celebrate on the assumption of the Holy Mother of God, that he may, it may lead us to your pardon and confirm us in perpetual thanksgiving through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. The of the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For today the Virgin Mother of God was assumed into heaven as the beginning and image of your church's coming to perfection and as a sign of sure hope and comfort of your pilgrim people that they may rightly see in her and that they may rightly not allow her to see corruption of the tomb since from her own body she marvelous, marvelously brought forth your incarnate son, the author of all life. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and in joy we proclaim. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and a chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, within him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your holy will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Our communion hymn is number 814, Taste and See, number 814. O sacred banquet in which Christ is received, the memory of his passion is renewed, the mind is filled with grace.
Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of salvation, we ask you to grant, O Lord, that through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, we may be brought to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Allow me to give you a special blessing this evening. To the following, if you would respond, amen. May God, who through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in his great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with his blessing. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. May you, who have devoutly gathered on this evening, carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joy and heavenly rewards. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go forth in the peace of Christ. Our closing hymn is number 784, Hail Holy Queen Enthroned Above, number 784. <laughs>